So we uh, we left Isla Coronado. We're heading doing some fishing. Got the poles out. We're trolling. Unfortunately, there's no wind, so we have to motor sail. But uh, I had one of those moments with the cameras. I was checking on some of the footage I took with this camera, in particular our 4K camera. And realized that, that I had it in time lapse mode, and so all these funny things that I captured are like 30 milliseconds long because they're like a time lapse, and so I'm a little pissed about that, but it happens. We'll get it squared away, but we're heading over to a place called uh, Bahia Salinas, um, which is on the east side of uh, Isla Carmen, and there's a shipwreck there, an uh, old tuna boat that's in about 25 feet of water, and so Marty and I. Um, are gonna dive that. Maybe the girls are gonna snorkel, and so I'll definitely see if I can get something interesting with that. But so, if you're wondering how we get a workout while we're on the boat, you just find a spot and get it done. That right there. That's the rubber hook cover that protects you from hooking yourself, but it also protects you from actually catching a fish. Oh, I didn't take the freaking hook guard off. Dumbass. So, I'm pretty excited to go fishing tomorrow because I think we actually might catch something because that's going to come off here shortly. this is us here and all these other little triangles you see are a system that identifies boats they're transmitting we're receiving and we can see if we're gonna have a collision or how fast they're going and if you tap on them it'll normally uh, see it says perspective those are our friends it tells us it's a sailboat what their call sign is how big it is the beam what they're bearing and Distances away, our distance to uh, intercept them, two miles, and then some other, their longitude and latitude. So it's kind of a handy system for us to have. Not everybody has them, um, but the people that do, I feel, are a little bit safer. And then, of course, the red you're seeing is our radar system. Um, so it does a good job of painting all the landmarks and boats and, and things like that. And so we're actually heading right there where you see that triangle right in there that's the Gia Salinas and if I uh, put my cursor there I can actually blow that up and you can see the shipwreck is right here
part of our morning routine, taking the dogs to the beach to go to the bathroom. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Tessie, Tessie and Sissy are so different. Tessie just wastes no time. Bam, on the beach. Let's go. Let's get business done so she can run around and play. And Sissy, she's a little different. Has to take her time, find the right green spot when there's not a lot of those to be found. And it's just pretty comical. I'm not sure I've properly introduced our friends Don and Terry. We met them both while trying to buy a sailrite sewing machine. It's a heavy duty industrial machine used to repair sails and canvas and things like that. But anyway, we got to know each other talking over the internet and started talking about diving. And I mentioned to him that I was looking for somebody to uh, take me diving because I hadn't gone in like 10 years. And he basically said, I might qualify for that. I used to be a Navy SEAL and I thought, yep. I think you do qualify.